You're muted. Okay. We are being recorded. I'm going to just say M.A. Sweetland is here. If, you, if you're not here, yell at me. Um, <laughs> Steve Viper, Steve Svoboda, Greg Franceschi, and David Gilbert Keith. Uh, 9.22.22 are having the Energy Committee meeting. Now, I need to pull up the agenda. There we go. Anybody want to take minutes? Please? Someone? No. <laughs> Silence. All right, all right, all right. I'll do it. Um, <laughs> So David volunteers to take this. How do we, did we- I don't think it? that was a volunteer. Yeah, that was a <laughs> default. Um, thank, thank you, David. Yeah. Um, did everybody get the draft minutes? I from think last? so. Probably. Do we approve them? I am, uh, oh, okay. I just have the agenda here. I think, oh, Lori sent those out. Yes, yeah, I'm, I've got them here. Um, I unfortunately am operating on about three hours sleep since we flew in last night and I have not read the minutes, I admit. Uh, uh, I just noticed a typo somewhere and now I can't even find the minutes. <clears throat> Hang on, I'll get there. Documents, energy, 22, draft. Well, uh, I had them. I was just looking at them. What the heck? They went away. Yes, yes. Yes. Um, I seem to have lost them. Oh, I just found them. Oh, good. Would you, well, there's two things I can do here. I can uh, tell you where, when she sent them. September uh, 20th. Yeah, I can, I've got them right here. Okay. Uh, from her. I saved them to the minutes and they went away, which makes me wonder. Um, anyway, uh, there was a, just an also t with a T at the end of, on the um, 4D, third line down of D. So we get rid of the T. Uh, anybody else see stuff that matters? Looks good to me. Just because I won't think of it, the street light swap is complete. Uh, there's one in Old Main that needs repair and always has, it never worked. I, yeah, you've talked about that. I think you have to get in touch with, uh, with Kevin. Uh, He's the one who, makes that happen uh, okay seems like it should be on warranty or something but casey was gonna look into it and that went by yeah casey is feeling extremely overwhelmed yeah i can't imagine why um no, but um yeah i'll i'll talk to uh, kevin about it yeah i'd talk to kevin okay and let's see. So anyway, we're approving these minutes. We vote. I, I move we approve the minutes of 8-18-22. Second. All right. Steve S. Proves everybody's. Is it unanimous? I didn't. Yes. Have my screen up. Aye. Aye. All right. Aye. 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 I'm on. All those opposed. <laughs> 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 then uh, green communities. 
So um, did anybody ever send supporting documentation? I didn't, I better do that. Supporting uh, documentation regarding? Our Green Communities Grant, um, things like pictures final of report. the street lights and- Oh, the final reports. Yeah, oh. so for just, just saying what we did. And, are you going to do stuff. that? I can do that. Yay! <laughs> All right, David will send stuff. Um, let's see what's next. Uh, Lori's not here, so we don't need to. Steve, do you know anything about EV stations? Any new stuff? No, no. All right. Does anybody know whether we have a final report, final financial report for green communities? Um, Did we get all the money spent and all of that? I don't know. I think, I mean, the last I heard was Allison asking for any supporting documentation. It sounded like she had everything else ready oh, to go. Good. good. Uh, so, um, that's the, um, the thing on the chargers about how they put them on a demand meter. Yeah. That makes them much more expensive. And there was some, I don't know, I didn't hear anything back about that. But that's an interesting way to charge individual meters it makes it much more money but yeah so are you suggesting that in the future we try to tie them with buildings yes i guess that may be the, if that's the solution but i imagine they might come up with another solution at the same time it just seems like <laughs> yeah. we want to encourage you know people using it why why should Power companies make such a. Yeah, it seems to me we ought to write to green communities who funded it and say, "This is this is inappropriate." Or actually, just talking to uh, uh, what's his name, Rubensky, Mark. Uh -huh. I will do. I will do that. Okay, that would be great. And and see what he says recommends. I mean, it may be that we need to go through our legislators, right? Yeah. yeah. what is it? it's demand charges that yeah, accrue my, on those yeah they put a demand meter and that becomes a multiplier for right. the rate uh -huh. doesn't 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 take much of a multiplier before mm -hmm. costing and that multiplier affects the whole month or something it yes isn't, yeah it, it isn't just like one time or you know you you do it one day it if it happens once you get it for the whole month uh, if i'm not mistaken geez. right and it, it may just be something that needs to be re-looked at i mean because there's a possibility that you know for where we are now with the amount of current that they would use it wouldn't it wouldn't kick in a multiplier they if they change where it kicks in yeah well if it kick, kicked in after you know 10 kilowatts instead of six or five or three whatever i don't know what it's at i don't know enough about it and and is that set by the utility is that uh i think so i mean they're the ones that said we had to that 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 had to have the demand meter. Yeah. So I guess when, you know, real high power cars eventually come and they're gonna take, you know, 50 kilowatts in an, in an hour or something, yeah. they'd be ready for that. So, I mean, I, I'm not saying it, it's totally out of line. I just think coming in too early. Yeah. Huh. Well, let's let's call it totally out of line and see if okay. we can push it back. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe if if all goes well, uh, we have a new DPU um, after November, and uh -huh. that new DPU might well 
you know, with a little urging, change yeah. some of those, some of the ways that the DPU regulates the utilities. Uh huh. You never know. That would be nice. Okay. Um, shared heating cooling systems. Um, I have a somewhat dropped the ball with um, Dr. Is it Whale or Whale or how do you say? Ben Wheel. Ben Wheel. Um, he offered to try to meet with Bill Hildreth and us. And um, I think the main point is to get him to talk with Bill Hildreth. Uh, maybe some of us. I don't you know if we if we need to do it in a meeting that's one thing um but has bill has bill agreed that that would be an interesting <clears throat> thing that's to do? where i dragged my feet i didn't want to jump right in i suspect he will not be thrilled um but he, he he's a curious guy so he might want to know what's and available I think if, and... if it wasn't our whole committee and it wasn't when we when we meet that yep. we did it on on his and Ben's schedule, right? And then any of us who could make it would go, rather yep. than having us be the driver. Yep, would That's... probably be a better way of doing it. Yeah, who is uh, Ben Wheel? He. he... Oh, go uh, ahead. You no, you go. You know him better. <laughs> uh, he is with the UMass uh, Energy Conservation extension he's the he's it, it was his class that uh went through the other buildings and did an energy audit okay in the other buildings and and so um and he's he's really good at uh energy efficiency stuff and mm -hmm. he does it for free and um anyhow yeah and it's it's his job he did he work at imply UMass? that what does he work at UMass? Is he yeah. the energy guy for the for the UMass campus? Well, no, he's he's a faculty. The ex it's 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 like the uh, agricultural extension. There's now an energy efficiency extension. Wow, how wonderful! It works. It's that is their their whole purpose is working with communities. Wow, that's exciting. It's very cool. Yeah. They've been around for four or five years. And and it would be, I feel bad that I've let this slip because- Me too, David, I, come on. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I did have COVID. <laughs> so, but um, the, uh, there is a little bit of urgency because I think Bill Hildreth is dying to replace the Those boilers. boilers. Yeah. And and if Bill, if Ben can help talk him into- somehow not replacing them with more gas boilers that'll you know be good for 60 years or something right um then I we're not locked that. in on those boilers and and it sounded like ben um dr wheel had alternatives in mind that that could could make it feasible to start using uh, grant money to buy mini splits and lower the the demand on the central heating at Frontier, and to replace that central heating with with maybe ground source or other things that yeah you know at least a much smaller one yeah I mean, if right now if you go with the old without any of those mini splits if you could do a bunch of mini splits and it was half the size or something. Right. That well, would... actually, there are two right now, and they're all but, they're both old. But there's yeah. a there's an advantage of having two as opposed to one. But they'd be better if they were smaller because there's right. a redundancy. Because if one's down for repair, the other one can keep working. Yeah, and, and that most... actually happened last year, and that's why he's looking to replace. His... But. Um... So Another let's, uh, aspect of it that he brought up, that Dr. Wheel brought up, was um, air handling. I, 
there was a there was a name he used that was new to me, but it wasn't just air heating, but but um, balancing CO two and so on. Uh, yeah. Uh, so that goes through more. I mean that that might be the part that makes it important to have a lot more regulation of of the central air is currently well, let, doing that. Let's try and get them together yeah. in the next, as soon as possible yeah. and, and follow through on that. And my only real big question is to, and this would be a very, uh, it is a sensitive call. Uh, Bill Hildreth mentioned that um, Darius Modesto was not keen on replacing the boilers with new boilers, um, was looking more toward just doing some maintenance to stretch the length of these guys. Um, do we involve him or not? I, I personally wouldn't. I would get the two of them together. and. Yep. And if the superintendent then is a problem, yeah. um, we have the school committee to turn to. Yeah. All right, good point. Then, um... so if I understand, uh, you know, it seems to me that maintaining them for another sometimes a year or two would be better than replacing them with the full size that they are now. And like you say, it, it'd be set up for another 60 years when obviously we should be doing something different. But yeah. if you were doing a, a, a maintenance and keeping them going, yeah. and then, you know, when, because people aren't really comfortable yet with the alternatives. I think they're, they're great, but we don't have the education, the kind of uh, comfortable feeling that they have about those boilers. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he, you know, Bill, liked what happened at the elementary school, which, you know, was good, but um, we're that much farther along and needing to really stop using fossil stuff. So um, if we put in big new boilers, of course, they're, they're just- you know, I think, Yeah, I think that we can, you know, there are there select boards and energy committees and all sorts of people can make recommendations if we have a recommendation, but until yeah. we have a recommendation yeah. uh, yeah. as to how to, you know, a plan as to how to move forward, um, yeah. I think we just, and I think if we can get Bill on board, then we're in really good shape. If we yeah. can't, then we have a tougher battle. Yeah. Is and, the maintenance like an expected expense that um, they're anticipating, or is there already a problem that needs to be? True. Well, you know, it's always a little hard to tell how dire the problem is. And, um, but Bill was, Mr. Hildreth was talking about, you know, roughly $400,000 cost of replacing the two boilers. Wow. Um, um, divided among the towns. And I kept trying to figure out how green communities could get involved in in things to minimize that and um i think that the mini splits can take up a lot of the slack and they are something we can try to get right um yep so uh, with that in mind a meeting seems to make sense so it seems like if you had the mini splits and one went down, your your backup is kind of the mini splits. Yeah. yeah. So it's not like you need two new boilers. I mean, if you have, you know, the mini splits and one good boiler, you're probably. Yeah. Set. Cool. Um, so you'll not. you'll take care of that, David. I will try to try to arrange it. As best I can, I'm, I'm a little. Well, I'll see what happens. Yes, I will try to arrange that meeting, and I will let all of you know when anybody wants to come. That'll be great. It's conceivable it could be a Zoom meeting, but I 
guessing that Ben would like to get a tour. I'm sure he'd like to see them, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there. Um, Were the elementary school, was it the boiler at the elementary school replaced with green communities money? I don't remember. It was. And, it was. and even the, the thing I'm remembering is the, the, to get the grant, you have to have engineering studies. And what I'm remembering is they kind of did it pro bono or on spec. Um, the grant did reimburse the engineer for for saying what he recommended. Only after. So only after the fact. And I, I'm remembering that toward anything we do at Frontier that we shouldn't not try just because there's engineering ahead of time. No, but, but we, we have... We don't have time to do it for this cycle. That's no, we don't. Doing we certainly it don't. Now for is, this cycle. is a good is a good time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we let's could see. ask for money from the at town meeting for the engineering studies, couldn't we? Incorporate uh, that into our our budget. Was that was for uh, geothermal, right? The, the shared. Oh yeah, the, that the engineering studies that re currently is for that we're looking for the grant for is for geothermal for the campus, not could, not for the school. But couldn't we also ask for funding for the school so that we're one step ahead in terms of having that piece ready? No, because it's a whole different geothermal system. It would be. It wouldn't be. I don't think it can be combined, and they're already. Uh, applying for those grants I mean, and they're already, they're already written and it gets complicated with the four four five town. town four uh, town right. district um hmm. but that does bring us to the shared ground source for the whole um campus any news on that or well that the um that's what uh i the got a letter uh, the letter yes the letter let's get to um so i Lori and i uh received a request from tim hilchey to write a letter of support um on energy committee letterhead and i said that i felt a little uncomfortable doing that uh, without a vote of the energy committee. And, but that FERCOG is, or Allison Gage is helping the town write a grant to the US Department of Energy or some, anyhow, federal, for a federal grant for, uh, for a geothermal, um, well, it, whatever it's called, anyhow, some sort of money for geothermal for the campus. Mm -hmm. And um, so because it was, Tim said that it needed to be in today, I went ahead and wrote the letter just personally, but said that uh, to Alice and then said to Alice and we were meeting and would likely vote to submit uh, a letter also from the energy committee. It would just be a little late. Um, well, we can. I could get and that. I out and so I draft, I draft it up. I mean, I sent the draft around a few minutes ago to everybody that yeah. I wrote. And Tim Hilchey approved my letter. He said it was great. It was no problem. So I sent that in today. And just for the minutes, Tim Hilchey is on what board? Tim Hilchey is a select board member yes. uh, of the town of Deerfield. Great. He's also on the CCI committee. Uh, all right. So that goes to Allison Gage. Yes, it goes to Allison Gage with the head. Uh, um, there is. A, it needs to say Deerfield Geothermal. Geothermal. Just a minute. Support group. <laughs> uh, in in the in the subject, let me just get that up because Tim told me what to put in there. Uh -huh. 
Um, Deerfield Geothermal Letter of Support is in the subject line. And it goes to Allison. Do you have her email? I do. Is it, is a it, gauge. A, a as in Allison. Yeah. Gauge, gauge at yeah. fercog.org. Okay. Of uh, support. Here we go. So Deerfield Geothermal Letter of Support. Yep. Um, from DEC to a gauge at fercog.org. Um, I'll get that out tonight. Um, if I don't exactly copy, I'll do whatever you'd like. Oh. I can even send you the letter that that Tim Hilchy sent, wrote up for um, for. Um, uh, our our representative, what's his name, uh, McGovern. Ah, if you sure. want that that letter too, I can send that to you. Sure, send it along. Okay. Um, so in the meantime, we have to vote that we agree to uh, yes write this letter. So someone someone who isn't the chair should move that. I move that we send a letter uh, in support of our fed the federal grant for geothermal. Let me just. I'm just trying to find that letter. Should be here. Yes, here it is. Um, yeah, in support of the uh, the municipal campus community geothermal project. Campus community geothermal. Oh, Sorry. Uh, is there a second on that? Second. All right. Um, let's vote. <laughs> Do we approve? MHI. Everybody approves that motion. All right. Does anyone else want to see the letter that David, that uh, Tim Hilchey drafted for McGovern? Or should I just send it to David? I'd love to see it. All right, I'll send it to the whole energy committee. There. Uh, we know the street light swap is done. We just said that. So um, connecting communities initiative. Oh, that's I'm jumping ahead. Sorry. Uh, oh. I did tell Casey that we would discuss a request um, from Zara about Zara, Zara Dowling. Zara Dowling, also from UMass, uh, about joining or participating in a solar planning program. My feeling is we did a lot of work on the solar bylaws last year, and given Casey's load and so on. I thought we'd probably skip this round of it. I have a different. You do. I All right. Yes, do. go. Um, through, uh, well, Zara, I spoke to Zara Dar Dar Dowling. Um, and uh, what she is offering is a program that she is overseeing. She's also with the Energy Extension. Mm -hmm. um, but she is uh, working with a group of advanced students um, to help communities prioritize and find money for solar projects. Uh. So it is pretty much different. They'll also gonna, I think they'll also do a survey of solar and the community survey it's a whole, it, it would be a group of students that will work all year uh, with the town mm -hmm. and what they require um, and, and, and to look at our, our, our interest in, for solar projects and the feasibility 
and to help us prioritize them and to also help us get money. Ooh. And so um, what, what would be required is uh, the first step is a letter of support from the select board. And I have talked to Carolyn and I've talked to Tim and both of them are in support of, of writing that letter. Wow. It's not a, not a guarantee that we will be selected, but there's a good chance we will mm -hmm. um, because of uh, our, the fact that we have the CCI as a separate organization, you know, so therefore communicating with other boards. And what they need is a point person, which I volunteered to be. Awesome. And, yeah. a, and a committee that will work with the students throughout the throughout the year on 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 their projects and what they're doing. So probably mm -hmm. a meeting once a month uh, with the students uh, this coming school year. And they are. Uh, uh, a group of students that are doing community service through, I can't remember, I, th I thought I sent that letter out to you all from, from Zara, but maybe I didn't and I will if I haven't. I think you did a while I ago. I think so. Yeah, it was, it was probably a month or so ago. Yeah. Do and I get the right? to describe the program? So that it, it's, um, you would have their help, they come up with ideas, they actually help implement the pro uh, projects and stuff. Yeah, I mean, like we've we've all talked about lots of different solar projects uh, all over town, and mm -hmm. you know, on buildings and parking lots and here and there, and they would they would help us with feasibility. They would help us prioritize them and also help us and prioritize them also about you know uh, in relation to feasibility. Mm -hmm. And um, I know Tim Hilchey has spoken to. Uh, Northeast Solar, I think, about putting solar on the church. Um, you know, there's, there, there's, we, people have talked about lots of different projects in town, mm -hmm. parking lots at the, at the uh, North Main um, Park, um, lots of things. So just taking a look at all of the likelihood, you know, the likely possibilities and letting them sort of assess them and, and give us some ideas. Is it just solar or is it other energy? It is just solar. My sense from the, yeah, go ahead. My sense from the stuff you sent out earlier was that the time frame that they wanted they wanted to get commitments for right now, like end yeah. of September, but that's which is probably unrealistic for us, right? I mean I, I no, don't. because the select board um, was planning on sending that letter of support uh, yesterday. No. Oh. But Casey, um, partly, because, partly because she's so overwhelmed, uh, responded to Lori, who was volunteered to be on the committee, which was, you know, at, at one level, jumping the gun a little bit, but pr totally innocuous. Um, no different than me saying I'd be point person, but Casey freaked out. And, and so talked to David and, and but by by putting it off to today meant that it would be another two weeks before the selectman wrote that letter, which would be too late. Mm. So uh, both Tim Hilchey and Carolyn, at, well, Tim Hilchey had asked to have it on the agenda for last night. I don't know whether it ever got on there or not. It did. Alex, you say yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it, it did. It, it um, was on the agenda? Yeah, they... Yeah, uh, didn't spend a whole lot of time on it. Um, I think they were focused on getting the warrant um more finalized and so they didn't. Be? So they didn't write a letter of support. Mm, I don't think so. Um, so maybe we don't do it. Maybe this is moot. Um, I I would still pursue it. Um, I can double check with Casey tomorrow. Right. Yeah, and I'll double check with Tim. But the 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 you can you can do it like in the spring, right? No, no, no. It's a whole year project. Oh, two semesters. I thought there was something in that in her letter about 
if you if it's not feasible to get it all together now it can be it can, I do, that's not how i understood it maybe may i'd have to go back and look i yeah, don't know yeah. do you know if it's a um a studio class um, um i'm i i don't what do you mean um <laughs> what's a studio class the, the only reason why i ask is um because uh, when I was in uh, a studio class, um, we worked with uh, the PVTA um, yeah. as a whole class, and we helped them for two semesters. So the first semester, we come up with some ideas for them, and then the second semester, they sort of implemented the ideas um, and reached out to the public and so on. But maybe I, that's what I'm they're... A, I, that sounds like that kind of a program. I don't know whether that it's titled that or not, but uh, I know it's through the extension and also with, and again, I'd have to go back and look at the letter, but it's another department that they're working with. Um, and uh, it wasn't the economics. I don't know who it was, but it, I know that it was sort of a community service thing. And so they're doing it through the extension and anyhow, it's, I'm being vague because it was last August that I read the letter. <laughs> so Oops. I don't know. We'll see. If the yeah. if the select board didn't send that letter, they wanted it by the end of September. And so I think it's conceivable they tabled it till they hear from us. So they are meeting next week and it's oh. kind of it's already a busy night. Um but it's possible that they can add it to the agenda or can yeah. add it again. Um, if you want to push, push, um, mm -hmm. it can't hurt. Uh, okay. then, um, it's tight to the end of the month, but that, you know. Yeah, uh, let me, I'll, I'll see where, I'll see what Tim, I know Tim was the one who was sort of carrying the water on that. So I'll see, I'll check with him and see what happened. Okay. Cool. Um, and I, oh, are you on the CCI yet? Or are you? Oh, um, no, go ahead. Well, I'm just, is, are you on the CCI agenda sure, item yeah. yet? Uh, uh, if you are, yes, yes. okay. Uh, the new, the potential new grants or sources were kind of, were hoping um, this federal grant for the geothermal is something, right? But, yeah. Um, are there others that anyone knows about? Uh, for the CCI, the grants, uh, no, they, they, I, they, I, they hadn't heard, but they thought they were going to that we met while, uh, two weeks ago, last, hmm. no, last week. Um, and they were hoping that they would hear um, about a couple of things, but they hadn't yet. Are there any other grant sources we should be paying attention to? I don't think I don't think so. I think working through CCI is is going to be the yeah. best way to do that for yeah. for the campus stuff. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So that brings us to the uh, well, CCI. I have a, I have, well, but I have uh, some other CCI stuff. There we go. All right. uh, I asked at the CCI, this last CCI meeting about bike paths. Mm -hmm. And they said, uh, they said that, that very likely with the complete streets that there would, the bike paths, uh, especially on North Main, would be included in that. And they seemed to, I mean, they, there was no balking at all about the need for bike paths and having them. And they were, you'll be glad to know this, Greg. Mm. Greg's there? I am. Okay. So it sounds like they're, they're um, all on board. The CCI. And complete uh, Streets uh, is, a, can you talk about that a little bit? I don't really know that much about it. It's a, it's it's another grant kind of 
a committee. Do you know, Greg, more about the Complete Street stuff? Out well, of I did ask at one point, um, and there is no committee. It's just something that the, as far as I understand it, the select board, you know, had looked into. They gave us uh, years ago the Complete Streets. Um, people from Boston came out yeah. and orchestrated that whole right, right. Uh, charrette right. thing, and you know, the committee right. included and all that. Um, which was wonderful, but after that, I don't. Well, think I think it's, there, it's moving it's forward. forward. There is yeah. there is an effort. It is moving forward, and I don't really know whether it's just through CCI or whether it's through some other. Do you know whether Complete Streets is um, a place where there's annual funding that we have to be aware of a deadline and apply for, or how it's structured? No, I don't. Do you have any idea, Alex, about whether whether? Uh, let me check with Denise and see if I can get more information on it. Yeah, I, I thought Complete Streets was a a big program, and um, that, that's about the gist of what I know. I don't know if it's a constant funding source that you can go back to, or it's. Um, it seems to me that's one of the grants that they're applying for, isn't it? Maybe mm. through that, maybe through that the, one one step grant. Yeah, the one. Yeah, the community one stop. Yeah. I don't know if I think that may be it. I don't know if they've morphed them into each other, um, and now it's the community one stop, um, or it's two separate things. I'm not sure. I I don't I'm I don't know either. I will double check with Denise, uh, and find out about that. Oof. I'll send out an email. Um, so I think that's all that I have from from um, the uh, from the CCI. anyone from CCI. I highly the CCI minutes are and are are on the CCI website. It's Google Drive and a lot of times things are explained a lot better than I do if a person wants to go and look at look at that. Um, do I just do CCI or how do I get to the website? town web? It should be on the town. I think, uh, is it Alex on the town website? I think you can get it through there. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, so we just did bike lanes. Uh, anything on XAMP and community shared? Oh, maybe uh, it's time to ch ask them again if they've gotten the. Uh, mm. I will. I will see if they have any anything from EverSource. Right. So th that's where it stands, though. They've been waiting for EverSource approval, or... yeah. And what they they thought that they would get it and then be able to start construction, uh, you know, no. November, November, December. Yeah. But if they haven't gotten it yet, mm -hmm. I don't know. Right. Well, so thanks for checking in with them. Um, North Main Street Park Project, anything? I think from, from what I've heard, it's sort of on hold why, while they manage what's going on uh -huh. with the lawsuit and all of that. Okay. On hold pending. Awesome. Please. There was a discussion at the CCI meeting regarding the fact that that not everybody uh, was as excited as some of the other people about putting the senior housing uh, in in the on the ball field in the in the uh. it, it, right in the center of town as part of the campus uh-huh and so there was, I think there will be further discussion of the other option that everybody has looked at or that people are, were sort of discussing was 
the lot at the end of uh, Graber. Mm. And so, there, but, but there wasn't any discussion about whether that was a feasible or not. I, it seems like people are still sort of talking about it and it was, you know, so maybe the ex, the access problem was solved. I don't know, I don't, I didn't question. Mm. I didn't question it, but uh, the concern about putting it where the ball field is, is that if we're putting in two new soccer fields and that's really expensive and da 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 da, da why are we giving up the ball field mm. when it's used all the time? And so, yeah. can you put a ball field over um, uh, where Brayburn is? Which, all, you know, it's all. What's the whole geothermal campus thing? Um, right. Back burner. It certainly, it certainly is. Having it there is um, is very beneficial for lots of uh, lots of reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, it's much more accessible for the seniors who live there. It's um, you know they can walk downtown. There's a bank right there. There's this and that. So it is. It's a it's a better location for the senior uh, housing. Yeah. Whether it's a, a good, it's all been well considered in relation to everything the town is thinking about. So that's that that's still up in the air. Yep. Okay. So up in the, uh, where's next? Um, anything on aggregation? Nope. All quiet on the aggregation front. Yeah, we're coasting along through our three-year period. Okay. I know Leverett is trying, uh, their, their three-year contract is up and they're trying to renegotiate it right now. And I'm glad mm -hmm. I'm not them considering where energy prices are. Ooh. Do we know when ours is? 2024? 20. 2024, I think. Uh, ours good. is also. Isn't that right, Steve? It's, it's three years also, right? Yeah. Yeah, ours was three years. Yeah, so. That would make sense. Okay. Uh, well, in 2023, we ought to start thinking about that. <laughs> um, well, I think that'll be brought up to us because it's all the towns are, I mean, we aren't operating alone in that. So. Yeah. Uh, any new business action items? I mean, the action item is the letter tonight, but yeah, uh, I think we, we talked about a uh, the shed, the uh, swap shed at the transfer mm -hmm. station. We got zero volunteers, so yeah. I think the whole idea died. Hmm. I suppose at the next town meeting we could see if anybody wanted to get involved, but yeah. I'll, when Lori gets back and is feeling like getting reinvolved, if it's before town meeting, mm -hmm. she and I can talk about handing something out at town meeting if we really want to. Yeah. Okay. Raise at town meeting. So as far as action items go you're going to talk to bill i'm going to talk to mark rubinsky about the uh, demand charge mm -hmm. i'm going to check with tim hilchey um, the, about the solar support letter for solar support at umass program whatever mm -hmm. uh, i'm going to check with denise about complete streets and and sort of how that what the funding how that it works out for funding and with next amp mm. uh, next amp next amp okay uh so next meeting can we set the next meeting date are there any other things that we missed here? No. Um, 
So what's in a month? When is town meeting anyway? It's the, ooh, when is it? Alex, you know, don't you? Uh, it's October 24th. That's um, huh? I don't remember if it's six or seven, um, but, oh. Um, uh, so the draft warrant six o'clock at Frontier Regional School, but um, yeah. But it's the 24th. 24th. Do we want to be ahead of it or come in behind and do a recap? <laughs> I, I don't think, is there any reason to be ahead of it? <laughs> um, just troubleshooting what we might have to actually say at town meeting, but I don't think there's anything pending. No. So how about, can we do the 27th then? Uh, I can. Fine with me. I will probably be away then, but um, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, twenty seven. Would it be better on the on the uh, week before twentieth? Can you do that, Steve? You... That's fine. That's fine for me. The twentieth would be. Twentieth works for me. I'm How fine. How about everybody I'm else? I'm fine. Then we won't be tired from town meeting. <laughs> so, Steve? yeah. Five o'clock. Five o'clock on the twentieth. Yep. Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Beautiful. Uh, do we have a motion? A motion to adjourn? Or, or no, to, 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 to do this meeting. MA, yes. Steve, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, so that's it. We're in for the 20th at 5. And now, do we have a motion to end this meeting? So moved. So moved. There we go. So it's a, everybody that's unanimous, okay. whatever that. All right. Thank you all. Thanks. And I'll uh, try to get back.